Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode of the, the Dirt Road Home. Now what you can probably hear in the background is an excavator. It's a machine behind me. We're coming in and we're starting to do some of the site preparation. Now what that involves is actually cutting back uh, one of our berms that we've got here, just reducing some of the old shrubbery, taking down a tree that's going to be in our building envelope, and just basically preparing the block with a bit of um, trenching for some power to come in if we potentially do powered to the site. Um, some water and a few other bits and pieces. Now after we do all that we're going to be coming in with our caravan and setting up and this is where we're going to be living until the build actually starts, or until we completed the build. So hope you enjoy this episode, stay tuned and make sure you check out all the episodes after this as well. Cheers guys. Tell you what, it does not take long at all when you got the right machine. Eddie has just managed to cut that whole bank right across there full of shrubbery, probably in about 20 minutes. Crushed it up, and now he's walking it over to the back over here, where he's gonna make a bit of a burn pile. So then the next step now, he's gonna drop on one of these big buckets, then he's gonna come along and start scraping that batter so that we can then get some of that mulch on. Just to retain all that throughout the build, and to stop any weeds and shrubbery coming back. Exciting having this machine here, I can say that much. All right, it's pretty amazing the difference that one day can make. You can see there, Eddie's scraped all this batter back, and he's gonna work his way around, he's about halfway along now, and he'll work all the way back around that tree. Once he's got it cut nice and flat, he'll get that mulch, bring that mulch, bring that Pack it on, probably about 200 mil, nice and thick, and that will just stop any weeds from coming back on that whole cut. Okay, so you can see behind me, all that shrubbery's been stripped off that batter quite nicely. The excavator's cut all that back. Now the next step is to come in with some of this tub grinding mulch and apply that in a layer about 200 mil thick right up the batter. And what that'll do is just stop any weeds and shrubbery from growing out of that again what we'll do is then plant that out at a later date. I'll show you the tub grinding mulch. So what this stuff is, it's really nice and thick and coarse and it just helps bind it all together. So that, up the batter, should stop any weeds coming through. Along with all that soil that's stockpiled from the batter there, what Eddie's done is actually taken off this top soil first, so scrape that off, just stockpiled it, and the loose clay and other rubble and dirt will be used as most the fill and then we'll just spread a bit of the soil or the topsoil back over the top just give a chance for that grass to sort of regenerate. So just little things like that make a difference but hopefully in the next sort of day or so all this will be pushed back out, we'll have our house pad level and then we're ready to start um, on the rest of our excavations and setting up the site for some temporary living quarters. Okay so today while I've got the excavator here I'm going to take advantage of that you can see behind me where this electrical conduit finishes. That's where the mains power was brought up the driveway. And the house itself, or well the garage, doesn't start for probably about another 40, 50 metres up here. So I'm just going to get him to drop a trench in. And while I put in the power, I'm also going to drop in some water so that we don't have to dig a trench back down here again. So that means we're going to have a tap down here and we extend that power through. It's just going to make it a lot easier for the sparkies and everyone once we do start out here. Give all the sparkies a good laugh. 400 metres of rope, tangled, so I pulled the wrong end. Now it's a big mess.
So now one of the final stages with the side prep is to drop all the mulch over this batter over here. So you see me chuck some stakes in that now so we can identify where all that topsoil is and then the mulch will go around it just to keep the weeds down. Let's take a look at that now. Here behind me, the mulch is going on. We're chucking in these rods or these little hardwood stakes so I know where all that topsoil is to come back and plant later. And we'll probably just get a tray of uh, tube stocks and we'll just drop those in along there. So one other thing you'll see down here behind me, I've got the excavator, just sussing out what we've got down there for a dam. We're going to put one in. Now I don't know how deep we can go, I'm pretty sure there's rock underneath it, so we may have to establish a bit of a, a wall around here. Probably to be done at a later date, so it's really just some investigation for now. Let's go take a look. Hide in here out of the sun, take the drone for a fly. See if I get some of that dam building action taking place. And just like that, we have a dam. How good is that? Probably about an hour, Eddie was on that machine giving a good scrape out. The main thing was just to get the sludge and all the grass and everything out of it. We will be building up a bit of a, um, a dam wall there at a later date just to increase the volume. But for now, at least that catches a bit of water that we can use throughout the build for things like irrigating plants and things like that. We'll put a little pump in and hopefully it'll do the job. We're very impressed. What a day, what a difference a machine can make. Very happy. The guys are just doing a bit of soil testing at the moment. You can see in the background there's a little ball they're going to put through and also up the top they're going to check. As I mentioned there's a couple of areas where there's some slope instability uh, issues so once we bore it out we can check the soil and see what it's going to look like. So there you go. How good does that look? Come up magic. A little bit of planning in there now and it's going to be beautiful. Next up we're going to bring our van in and then we can look at doing a few other little bits and pieces like maybe a pergola for a bit of shade or something like that and that'll be the side establishment sort of ready to basically take on the build. And that my friends ends the first week on the dirt road home. Now it's time to go home and have a cold one.